What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to a very exciting FNAF news episode. So today we have some really, really big FNAF news that I'm so excited to share. Oh my god, I cannot believe that this is happening. So we've talked about this in the past um, with Tales from the Pizzaplex. So I did a whole video on that, kind of describing what it's going to be, possibly uh, a few theories about it. And now we have more information about it, and it's gotten me even more excited. If you didn't know, Prankster came out a few days ago. I've done a full audiobook on that. Um, and the last kind of Fazbear Frights book isn't really even part of the series canon. Um, that, that's kind of tricky to, to place there, but it's Felix the Shark. It's the 12th book and the final book in the Fazbear Frights series. And it's kind of sad that it's the final book because these books have been amazing to me. They are my favourite things I have ever read. It might just be my single favourite thing. <laughs> in, in the entirety of, the, of life, my favourite thing is, is Fazbear Frights books. And so you could tell that I was sad that it was ending. Uh, I got a little bit emotional after recording like the final audiobook for Prankster. But we do have the next book series on its way mid next year. And it's called Tales from the Pizzaplex. Uh, I assume it's going to clear up some things about Security Breach. So Fazbear Frights cleared up a lot of things about the earlier games. And this is going to clear up a lot of things about Security Breach. Possibly even VR and AR, but I'm not too sure because we've got a few stories about that in Fazbear Frights. It is called Tales from the Pizzaplex. And the Pizzaplex is literally... Uh, where Security Breach takes place, so I'm assuming that it's going to be mostly consisting of uh, Security Breach stories. And I think that there's a lot that they could do. With the animatronics that we've got, with the all of the mechanics that we've got, all of the different secret rooms and areas, there's so much that they could do. And of course, they can make up new animatronics, new characters, new stories. There might even be epilogues as well. But... That's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the first of these books, which now has a full description, title, and cover. So, in three, two, one, this is the cover. Um, <laughs> I must say, my opinions on it, I adore it. This is the best Freddy, Freddy, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's cover that I have seen. Before this, one of the creepiest uh, of the, of the um, book covers to me was uh, Friendly Face. That's so creepy. Blackbird was also very creepy. 1.35 AM was also kind of like that. But this one, there's something eerie about it. So we let's, let's have a little dissection of it. It's called Lally's Game. And if you remember, there was a Lally's Lollipops, I believe. There was an ad in um, Five Nights at Friday's 6, and one of the ads that you could get was for Lally's Lollies. Uh, Lally, I believe, is also in Sister Location. I could be completely wrong about this, but I believe it's the one of the wooden puppets it, that you see in the um, circus control room or whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't played Sister Location in ages. So it's kind of weird that Lally, like Lally's name pops up again. It's also kind of bringing up the fact that in Security Breach, we may get a lot of kind of like artifacts from the past and clear up a lot um, from the past. Um, even with with like the Fred Bear's family diner poses that we've got that I'm going to make a video on soon. Even with like those kind of things, um, it's it's kind of showing us artifacts from the past and possibly clearing up a lot about the past. So I've got that to look forward to as well. Um, this is a very interesting cover. Um, there is some kind of alien PlayStation 5 baby. What? And then there's a figure behind. Um, I'm actually not too sure, like, this could represent death. I have noticed that in the background it looks very fiery, and you can see on the, like, the highlights of, like, the door handle and the baby figure thing. But it's, it's red. The highlights are red. So, it's possible that there's a fire starting here, and just saying, <laughs> there's been a few fires in the past, so... There's probably going to be more. Apart from that, I really like the cover. I, I just really like it. It's very creepy. Um, it feels like the baby is staring into my soul and I like it. But of course, that's not all we've gotten because we also have a description for this story. So 
Here is the description for the book. Some secrets are better left hidden. A forbidden artifact from her fiance's past beckons to Selena. So that is the story, I assume, uh, for Lally's game, which is gonna be the first story. Um, a forbidden artifact, it kind of brings back the idea of there's gonna be things from the past games and the past of Fazbear Entertainment, uh, all of their history kind of, um, kind of coming back up um, because they've covered up a lot. Uh, let's be honest, they they might have even covered up the missing children incident. No, they didn't. Um, what am I talking about? It does say a forbidden artifact from her fiance's past. So I don't know what that implies. It's also possible because this PlayStation 5 thing, <laughs> I love using that. Because this thing is a baby, uh, it could be the baby of the fiancés. Not too sure. Um, but again, we're just gonna have to wait until I think it's July 26th or something. I don't know. That's 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 a month after the missing children incident. So yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, it seems like as well that even though people wanted this to be completely canon to uh, security breach, as in um, it's in the same universe, it's not going to be. I'm telling you, it's it's there's gonna be more parallels. Okay. It's not gonna end at Fazbear Frights. I really like the way that Fazbear Frights were done because of the whole like parallels thing. Um, I get that a lot of people fight over it and it's not worth it. Like, I I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I really like how Fazbear Frights was done and if it was given to us, like the, the lore of security which was given to us in straight stories then then it wouldn't be as exciting, I don't think. So the second story is Jessica leads a double life from her friends and co-workers in the children's wing of a hospital. Jessica, where's Brittany at? <laughs> um, yeah, this one, this one in particular kind of gets me because it says Jessica leads a double life from her friends and co-workers. So I assume two different kind of aspects of her life so Jessica is going to be one person with her friends, but a different person with her co-workers. And the co-workers are of a children's wing of a hospital, which is strange. That could play into the cover. Maybe it's the second story instead of the first story. Not too sure. That's just completely out there. But a double life. And that's, that's the kind of word that we are kind of bringing out from this. We're extracting the biggest word out of that sentence. And it's definitely double life. Because where do we see a double life? Vanessa and Vanny, potentially at least. I do feel like this is going to be a big parallel to Vanessa and Vanny. Uh, it's gonna tell us a little bit more about maybe um, her history, um, why she leads a double life, and maybe like the good side of her and the bad side of her. I'm not too sure, but I do wanna point that thing out, the double life. It's, it's kind of insane that we've got that in the description because I do feel like that is a massive parallel to Vanessa and Vanny. And the final story is Maya cannot resist the temptation to explore an off-limits area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. So, it does sound like this one in particular is going to take place in a pizza plex. We're not too sure if the other two are. That's something that we're gonna need to find out, I think. But this is, a, is one of the stories that uh, I feel like it's gonna be more kind of centered around security breach. I know one thing that a lot of people said in the Fast Bear Frights books um, was that a lot of the story didn't tie in to Five Nights at Freddy's at all, really. One of my personal favorite stories is The Real Jake. Has absolutely no like Fast Bear Entertainment connections at all. Like in, in no part of that story does it say Fast Entertainment or Freddy Fazbear or Pizzeria, but it's my favorite story. And I think it's those that really tie together the entire series. But I do like the fact that we're going to be getting some kind of, I guess you could say more canon stories that are, that are simply direct. I like a mix. But in the world of Five Nights at Freddy's, everything comes with a price to pay. It's, it's all kind of the same format as the Fazbear Frights books. Um, doesn't mean it's Fazbear Frights 2, okay? And there you go. That's, that's kind of what we're going to be getting next year. Um, I'm so happy that we've got a new book series on its way. Uh, I'm so happy that they weren't just like fake leaks. I cannot wait to read this. I will be doing audiobooks on these. Uh, I will be doing analysis video on these. Um, I'm, 
my channel is going to keep going because we've got another book series. So thank you, thank you. Anyway, yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Tell me guys what you think in the comments below. Uh, I cannot wait to read this. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe um, so that you see more updates when things like this come out. Hopefully we're gonna get the other covers as well soon. Maybe we'll get some sneak peeks. Um, but apart from that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.